Hello everyone, my name is Rini and welcome back to more Vambrace Cold Soul. It is finally time to head out to the surface once again. It's been so long, so much dialogue. Let's see, Volsung repaired the ascending room. We can visit the residential district now. Yes, please do. Oh, and there's a guy here. What do you want? Planning to take a ride in the ascending room today? Apologies, but we've had a bit of trouble. It's a need of re What? What do you mean, it's in need of repair? It, it was repaired. Um, let's ask about suspicious activity. How? Oh, right. So this is the um, the side quest where you can actually try to learn about who um, caused the disturbance in the lift. It's a mystery even to me. Did you notice any suspicious activity during your shift? Not really. Well, come to think of it, there was a slight commotion here earlier in the day, but I took care of it so quickly I could not have been related. What happened? A scavenging party was about to return from the surface. Sometimes people come here to greet the arrivals. One lady arrived and flew off the handle. She started attacking another man who was waiting nearby. I restrained her. He looked shaken and limped off without a word. She was flustered and left in a huff too. They were the only two there. Did you get a good look at the guy that she was attacking? Just one of those guys, you know the type, always hanging around the recruiting wall and mingling with the surface runners. Any idea what they were fighting over? Who knows? Maybe it was a lover's quarrel. Alright. So... No, we need to ask more apparently. Um, let's ask about the ascending room. Can't say I'm very eager to ride such an unreliable machine. Unreliable? I'd rather take my chances down here, than get stuck somewhere mid-transit in the ascending room, wouldn't you? You clearly have no appreciation for the fire and art of ancient dwarven engineering. Well, it's not exactly working properly right now. Through no fault of the original engineers. The ascending room has been running just fine for centuries, and dwarven tech is known for its fine craftsmanship. This stuff doesn't just break down. That's why it's so fascinating. You're saying someone tampered with it? There is no doubt in my mind. Volsung said as much too. Okay. Why can't you still talk to him about stuff? That shouldn't be the case, right? Okay, I'm very sorry, but before I go out, I'm going to double check the town. To find the guy near the recruiting board that looks suspicious. Let's see. Who is suspicious? A guy. Oh, that's him. I'll need something strong to get over this headache. I heard you had an encounter at the Asani room. Rough day? How did you know about that? <laughs> Never mind. The Lodge is way too small. He's injured, but it seems like he might know something. Okay, so, <laughs> right, some very uh, detailed research he's conducting here. Elevator broken, man. Yes, okay. Let's check out his wounds first, gain his trust. Let me see that noggin of yours. Ow, be careful. Looks like you took quite a hit. You have a huge lump here. Ow, and you got left with quite a shiner. You fancy yourself a Sylvani nurse? If I wanted treatment, I would have gone to the healing hall. I am no nurse, but I've had a few bumps and scrapes of my own. Get something cold and apply pressure to it. You'll be fine. Whatever you say, thanks, Doc. Alright, someone with a very sharp nails. So I might be a fox here then, right? Let's ask why he was there. Did you hear about what happened to the ascending room? What are you talking about? It broke down and Volsung ca was called to repair it. I don't know anything about that. What were you doing there then? I count many friends among the scavenging parties that travel above. I was just waiting there to welcome them back home. Seems like a bit of a coincidence. The ascending room malfunctioned right after your altercation. I don't like what you're implying. This is the first time I've heard of it. Okay. Finally, do you know the person who did this to you? No idea. I have never spoken to this woman in my life. She kept screaming that she was going to bust my head. It would seem she was good to her word. She hit me in the back of the head while I was minding my own business. 
Before I knew what was happening, I was already down and she was clawing at me. Do you remember what she looked like? I remember her plain as day. She was one of those shanty harlots. I saw her with a dwarf. Can you imagine? A dwarf? It looks like I have another suspect. Dillach has prostitutes? Well, men of need, you know. They work in the shanties. Some work at the Lost Lady Inn for clients that can afford it. It's a small town though, and they need to be discreet. It sounds like you've had enough problems for one day. Make sure you get some rest. Alright. Not uh, making him very happy. So, we need to find a prostitute. And we know there's one in the bar that was being really bitchy to us at the start. Um, here she is. Working girl. Don't trip and bust your head. I may not be the one tending a busted head today. What are you getting at? She looks drunk and disheveled. Let's see what I can get out of her. Okay. Hmm. Let's ask why she's drinking. Hitting the bottle pretty hard there. How are you holding up today? Not well, but at least I got my licks in. I hear you, sister. What happened? My friend got assaulted a few days ago, right in the shanties. The low-life rascal who did it ran off before she could see his face too. I'm sorry to hear that. Is your friend okay? She is shaken, but fine. I just didn't think something like that could happen in Dale Arch. Okay. Were you at the ascending room today? Yeah! I found that filthy scam today and gave him a good what for. Who do you speak of? The man who assaulted my friend, of course. How did you manage to identify him? Well, just between you and me, one of my regular clients saw the whole thing. He personally pointed the guy out to me. Okay, so there's someone that kind of made her angry to attack him. I heard you were with someone at the ascending room today when the fight started. You heard about that, eh? Well, the best part is that he is a dwarf. Dwarves are usually such racial purists. What a surprise. I know, right? The guy hates humans, but you know, that's how he gets his rocks off. He likes to act tough, but he is a real softy deep down. Does he come to the lost lady often? Nah, you know, he likes to stick with his own kind. He's always drinking near Agra Manor. Likes to keep a real low profile when we meet up for obvious reasons. Okay. So this dwarf that's been visiting this prostitute who's been forced to attack a man is somewhere was it here no it's to the left oh boy we're gonna get it now what does that dwarf look like oh here he is she attacked and the poor fool didn't know what was happening i bet the knot on his head is the size of my fist they are true simpletons, Erling. I can't imagine a harlot and a tramp tussling around about must have made quite a sight. Apologies, I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. What's it to you, eh, Danny? Okay, so... That's what the dwarves looks like. They look really similar, so I, th I think I've got the right guy. Let's just ask about ascending room first. Did you hear the ascending room is out of commission? Is that true, Erling? This is a disaster. Um, yeah, I heard. When did that happen again? It's fortunate for us the old dwarves built sturdy machines. Would probably take a dwarf to tamper with something so well designed. Ridiculous! It was definitely one of those troublemakers from the Crimson Rain that did it. They're always causing problems for us. I did not just show Mr. Dwarf. Well, I just passed a bruised drifter by the recruiting board. I couldn't help but wonder whether it was the same fellow. Did he have a big black eye? One and the same. Damn right that's him. I watched that blighter take the beating with my own eyes. He scrapped with a lady of the night, no less. Oh ho! This human has a sense of humor. What did I tell you, lass? The Edeni Outlanders are not all that bad. You speak the truth, Erling. Why did our ice and air get stuck with such parasites? Okay, so finally, let's ask about the hoe. This shanty harlot, what do you know of her? What? Um, I don't know anything about her. 
I just happened to see the fight. A fight you just happened to witness while passing the ascending room? Uh, yeah. You know how these shanty vagrants are. They'll fight each other over a scrap of bread if they're so inclined. He just lied. He looks quite nervous too. Well, of course he is. He's in front of his wife. You're asking about the prostitute he's been visiting. Okay. Let's go talk to Hilda. There we go. <laughs> ah, Lyric! You are finally here. Our mother saved me. She's a private detective you've been going on about? Unlike you, she's got the moxie to find a real criminal and clear my name. Don't you have something better to be doing right now, Lyric? I may know the identity of the person responsible for sabotage in the ascending room. Well, who was it? Uh, Wait. Yeah, so it was a dwarf after all. A dwarf named Erling. He resides near Agra Manor. A dwarf? And do you have any evidence for these allegations? First, unbeknownst to the guard, he was at the scene of crime during the incident. Only for the other two suspects knew he was there. Second, he lied about knowing one of the suspects and his overall demeanor was quite suspicious. Incredible! Why you're here, Celeste? What are we waiting for? Let's smash him. Just my luck. This is a delicate situation. I'm not sure you ladies understand the gravity of this news. Of course I do. If I'm right, then he put everyone in Dale Arch at risk. We need to weigh the cost-benefit of a res response carefully. Coming down on one of the dwarves at this sensitive moment could be misinterpreted. What do you propose we do then? Erling should be turned over to the Guardians by one of his own. Seriously? Patience, Hilda. If Lyric is right, he'll get what's coming to him. In the meantime, go speak with Hakon and have him tactfully get to the bottom of this mess. Okay. So, now we go find the dwarf in a bear costume called Hakon. Hakon. He used to be here. Oh, there he is. What news do you bring me? I may have discovered the identity of the one responsible for sabotaging the ascending room. Well done, Aideni. The anticipation is killing me. Tell me, how did Hilda do it? Hilda had nothing to do with it. A dwarf named Erling did it. He resides right here, near the manor. What? Are you sure you have the right person? He was at the scene before the room malfunctioned, but he was the only suspect of the guard's side. Celeste concluded as much too. Hmm, then I have no choice but to act. Dwarf or not, there are consequences for putting our people in danger. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. I'll handle this myself. Okay. Now I need to go back to Hilda. Alright. Hilda, I bring news. I reported him to Hakon. I assume he will turn Erling over to the Guardians to avoid any potential problems. By the All Mother, if what you say is true, then you have done the Crimson Rain and myself a great service. Now that we can put this whole mess behind us, I do believe I promise you a decent reward. I didn't do this for the rewards, but I have to admit, my curiosity is piqued. Like you, I am a woman in constant search of the truth. That requires a keen eye, objectivity and gut instinct. So here's a little something befitting a detective of your caliber. You received Columbo set. Wow, and it comes with a cane too. Sure you want to part with such precious keepsakes? Glad I'll have some proper attire next time I go sleuthing. Thanks again, Lyric. Okay, so... Let's go check this outfit out. Hope it's not lingerie this time. Let's have a look-see. Columbo, Columbo, Columbo. That actually looks pretty cool. Looks like a real detective. But she's not really a detective. She's a warrior. Alright. So, with that out of the way... I need to apologize because I still haven't gone to, to the surface. As I promised for the last three episodes. But, there's no more side quests. So next time we will... And I 100% I promise it this time... I will go to the surface. As always, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.